Hello everyone and welcome to the fourth CSS video tutorial here at beginnertask.com. In this video I'll be showing you how to style your links using CSS and again I won't be showing you how to do it inline because you probably already know how to do that. So I will only be using a style sheet um, and as you can see I've already linked my um, style sheet to my HTML uh, document and my two files is located up here. I've also created two links because one of them I want to style uh, with an overall link style and the other one I would like to style with a special link style. But I'm gonna start out making the overall link styling. So I'm just gonna jump up into my style sheet. A link has four major stages. It has an unvisited state, it has a visited state, it has a mouse over uh, the link state and it has a selected state. And you basically have to style all four stages. First I'm going to style the unvisited state. Um, to style that I'm going to type in a link and then I'm going to make the two curly brackets. First I would like to specify a color. So I'm going to type in color and I would like that to be red. This And I end it with a semicolon. Then I would like to style the property font size. And then that should be 14 pixels. And I would also like to add some text decoration. Um, that should however just be none because I don't want any for this one. And finally I want to specify the front weight. And that should be bold. So let's view this in the browser. So this is what the links look like before. And if I will then press update um, the styling will be applied to our links. So I'm just going to do that. As you can see the color has now been changed so our overall uh, link styling has been applied. But again we have only styled one of the states of the link. And as you can see if I press it or if I hover over it uh, not much is happening. So um, let's move into the CSS document again and style the three other stages. Now I then want to style the visited stage. However, this stage is not uh, well supported in all browsers. Basically, the visited stage is when you have clicked the link, the link will then change according to the visited styling. So um, the visitors of your uh, web page will be able to see what links they have pressed. But again, this state is not supported in all browsers. So what I'm going to do is just to copy this one up here. And then I'll type in here instead, visited. So that my unvisited stage and visited stage uh, looks the same. I'm not going to view this in the browser because there won't be much to see. But again, it's always a good idea to include this visited stage, so please remember that. Now I then want to style the hover stage or the, the stage where the mouse is over the link. So I'll type in A, hover, and again I will use the curly brackets. Again, I'm just going to copy this one up here, so that will save me a lot of time. Um, then I would like to add some text decoration when I hover over it. And that should be underlined. I'd also like the color to change. Change to yellow, like that. So let's view this in the browser. Now, as you can see, if I hover over the link, it will change to yellow and underlined. So now our hover state has been applied to the link. It has been applied to both links because we haven't uh, set any special styling for this link down here so both links will be styled according to the overall link styling. Um, so that's fine. Now I want to add the selected link state. To do this I'm gonna write A active. And again I'm gonna use the curly brackets. And again I'm just gonna copy this one up here. And I'm only going to change the color and this time I want it to be black. Let's try viewing it in the browser again. If I then try hovering over the link, it will change as before. But if I then try to press it and hold the mouse down, it will change to black. And that is when the link is active. As soon as I release the mouse, the link will change to yellow again. So that is what the active state is doing. So now I have created an overall link um, styling for all my links, but maybe I want to style a specific link with a specific styling. And uh, that is actually also possible with CSS. Let me show you. What you need to do 
is like shown in the other video is to make a special styling that has a class name so instead of writing all this again I'm just gonna copy it go down here like that and then I'm gonna add a special class name for these stylings so I'm gonna go in here between the A and the colon and press dot and I'm just gonna call it let's say special link like that I'm just gonna copy this and add it to all the stages like that so now we have actually made a special styling called special link but the styling is the same as the overall link so I'm just gonna change some of the colors I would like it to be gray as an example um, when unvisited so it's gonna be CC and I would also like the hover size to be bigger so I'm just gonna say that that's 24 pixels now I'm then gonna go into my HTML document and apply this styling to my link so I'm gonna use class again and because the special styling is called special link I'm gonna choose that one and type in special link so now this link should be styled with our special link styling um, let's view it in the browser as you can see our other link down here has now been styled according to the special link styling um, it's now gray as we specified and if I hover over it it should change in size because that was what we did in our special link styling so I'm just gonna hover over it and yes the font size changes as it should so now this link has a special link styling and this one up here is the overall link styling that was what I wanted to show today now you know how to style your links using CSS so they're not just uh, the boring standard links hope you're able to use what you have learned so far and uh, see you next video